All right, so let's solve a problem which appeared in JMA in 2025. This question came in 28th January first shift. And uh, this is a lengthy question actually. So this could have been avoided in the exam, but if you have time and then you can do this question, then you should. So this is a definite integral question. And when you see this pro like limit, upper and lower limit as minus pi by two to pi by two, your first thought is to check whether this is an even or odd function. But had it been an odd function, then of course this value would have been zero and then everything would be zero and this is what it is, right? So it does not look like an odd function, though you can substitute and check that by minus x, this part is uh, basically, of course, gonna be giving you x square cos square minus x would also give you minus x, but this part will not give you. So what am I saying here is that if you check for like if you take the fx to be this function, x square cos square x upon 1 plus e raised to the power x, and you substitute f equals to f of minus x, x equals to minus x, then this part will be okay. Cos square of minus x part also will be fine. So this part will be okay. As in, uh, you would get the same value back but here this will not be giving you something back here so basically this will come out as x square cos square x which is good but then this will not give you like one plus e raised to the power x so you could just divide this one upon e raised to the power x it goes up and then there is something like e raised to the power x extra you are gonna get in this case right so so definitely it is not neither an even nor odd function. So that part is not useful, but this part might be useful. And when you, when you were checking this, you, what you saw is that this, when you are substituting f x equals to minus f, then you're getting e raised to the power x, x square cos square x upon e raised to the power x plus one. So that's another thing which you will be looking at, which is what we're calling King's property that in this case, I can just go with this approach that my fx, I will be substituting this to be as f of a plus b minus x there. And in this case, a and b are minus pi by two to pi by two. So this will sort of turn out to be zero. So minus pi by two to pi by two was there and minus x if I do, then what will happen? This will cancel out and then I'll be left with f of minus x, right? So when I use that property, what will this turn out to be? Like, let's take 96 outside, okay? Because that is not useful for me. So 96 is outside. And then I'm saying that this thing is gonna be equal to minus pi by two to pi by two. And then I'm substituting this f of a plus b minus x. So this will turn out to be this itself, f of minus x, which is e raised to the power x, x is square cos square x upon e raised to the power x plus one, right? Now, uh, as you can see, if I sum this up, then e raised to the power x plus one will be gone. So if I sum up the original integrand and this one, then what will happen? 96 will be common, this will come out and minus pi by two to pi by two. And then what I'll be having here is that x square cos square x, right? So we'll have x square cos square x upon e raised to the power x plus one as common. And then from the earlier one, I will have one and this one I will have e raised to the power x. Now what will happen here is that this gets canceled out. Now what am I left with is x is 96 x square cos x. And as we can see, this is an even function like this part which is left is an even function now. So we are saying that x square cos square x is an even function. And I can apply that property that I could say that this is two times, this is 96 into two times zero to pi by two x square cos square x dx. Now I can cancel out two from the other side. So I'm looking at my 
this expression. Now we've got to solve it using integration by parts. So just take this and then try solving this. So we'll solve this first and then substitute the values later. So x square cos square x dx. And then let's say we are integrating this part. And then later on we will multiply 9 to 6. So we'll take this as first function x square. Okay. Or before that let's do one more step. Like let's solve this further. Like by making this cos square x as 1 plus cos 2x by 2. So I could write this as 1 plus cos 2x by 2. Then this part will become at least one part is now resolved easily which is 0 to pi by 2 and this will become x square by 2 dx and then the other part will now become 0 to pi by 2 and this will become x square cos 2x dx okay so this is done as in like you can solve this so this will be 1 by 2 into you can say this is x cube by 3 and then you can substitute 0 to pi by 2. And this part, I will solve this. So let's keep solving. So we're using integration by parts. So we'll say that this is x square cos 2x dx minus differentiation of this, which is 2x. And then integration of this, which is sine 2x by 2. And then whole thing I will say this is 0 to pi by 2. We'll put this. So 2 2 cancels out. Now then here as well I will have 1 by 6 into pi cube by 8. And then here I will have x square and this will be sine 2x by 2. And what we'll have here is again I can use integration by parts. So we can just say this is x and then we'll say this is sine 2x dx minus again differentiate x with respect to x itself, right? So this is 1 into now I'll get minus cos 2x by 2 and that will be like we'll be substituting 0 to pi by 2. Now, this is going to give me pi q by 48. And now, if I substitute pi by 2 here, then this will become pi by 2 square. Let's do, do this, like at least for this part. So, pi by 2 square. And then, what you get is sine 2x, right? 1 by 2 also will write. Sine 2x is sine pi, right? And then, minus... If I put substitute 0, so this will be 0 itself, right? So this whole thing will become 0 because sine pi is 0. Now, we'll come to this part, which is x. And this will be cos 2x by 2. Again, minus cos 2x by 2, actually. Minus cos 2x by 2, which is minus sine. And here it will be plus and which will be sine 2x by 2. So there was another sign, but this is sine 2x by 4. And again here as well, we can substitute the value 0 to pi by 2 and see what happens, right? So, yeah, so this will become pi cube by 48. And now this first part as because the sine pi is 0, this is 0. So this is 0 itself. Minus. Now I can say this is minus and then let's do this separately. So when I substitute pi by 2, so this will become pi by 2. So there is a pi by 2 right into so there is a pi by 2 over here right <clears throat> so <clears throat> this is pi by 2 and then if i substitute cos of cos to be here pi by 2 right again so what will happen is this pi by 2 and this will become cos pi so cos pi is minus 1 so let's write minus 1 and then there's a 2 here already right and then then we will substitute this sine of pi which is 0 right and minus minus plus and then again if i put zero here so this will become zero and this is anyway zero minus zero so this is all we have right looks like there is one one by two i have left out from here so there was a one by two here so there is one by two here one by two here 
right? Or one by two is carrying over. One by two is carrying over, right? Okay, so there is a one by two carrying over here. Or I can just try to do over here, it's fine. So what do I've got here is pi cube by 48. And then minus, this is the only thing which is left, pi, right? So this is the only thing which is sort of left for me, right? So this is what we'll be writing. So you've got, uh, yeah. So there is a, this minus and this plus sign, and then again, there's a minus sign. So there was a minus sign here, right? So I didn't miss this. So there was a minus sign here. So this minus sign has to be written. So now minus plus minus. So this is pi by eight, finally, right? Now there was a 96, which I had left out. So then I is like when I multiply by 96, this will become pi cube by 48 minus pi by eight times 96. This is what is my final integration, which is uh, two pi cube, right? Minus 16 pi looks like. 12 pi. Then if I take two pi common, then this will become pi square. Right, so, so, right, so we have got 2 pi minus uh, 5, right, so let's check it out what we have got here, so we have got pi into alpha pi square plus beta, right, so yeah, so we will have this, right, Maradich Shanwe. So let's only take pi common because they have just taken pi common there, right? So not two pi. So let's just take pi common because that is how they have taken it. So we'll have pi times two pi square minus 12, right? So alpha is turning out to be two and beta is turning out to be minus 12. So what do we have finally is alpha plus beta whole squared. Alpha plus beta whole squared, which is 2 minus 12 whole squared, and which is actually equal to 100. And that is what is your answer. Yeah, so this is a long, long integration process, and then it takes quite a while for us to do this. So yeah, it's a lengthy question, and could have been avoided in the exam. All right, if you've got any questions about this to ask me in the comment section below and i'll be happy to answer your queries thank you so much for watching this video have a good day